So now we are moving to question number 5.8. A pentagonal pyramid of base 30 mm and axis 75 mm is resting on the ground on one of its triangular faces. So a pentagonal pyramid of base 30 mm and axis 75 mm is resting on one of its triangular faces and its axis is being parallel to it. Okay. Stop there. So a pentagonal pyramid is resting on one of its triangular faces on the ground with its axis parallel to VP. Side is 30 mm and height is 75 mm. So how can we construct that uh, symbol position? Since that pentagonal pyramid is since that pentagonal pyramid is resting on one of its triangular faces, one of the base edges should be on the right side, right? So first we have to construct the pentagonal pyramid with one of its base edge on the right side. Uh, right side and so base is 30 mm. So, this is the pentagonal pyramid. This is the simple position of the pentagonal pyramid and now this is the simple position of the pentagonal pyramid and now we have to make it uh, to rest it on one of its triangular faces. So for that uh, we know that uh, take this point as b dash a dash, take this much distance, uh, mark it as o2 dash, now complete like this, b dash a dash, o2 dash, b dash, C dash, E dash, O dash. Okay. Now, A B B C A E So border. These are the border. As you are observing from here, the base will be visible. So the base is visible. Then you are observing from here, apex is away, and uh, the near edge is O to D. So O to D will be visible. Far edge are O to B and O to A. So that will be invisible. This is axis. So, the position of the solid has been completed, right? Now, read the question. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP, inclined 45 degree with the HP, and passing through the midpoint of the top view of the axis, and the apex portion is being removed. See, Passing through the midpoint of the top view of the axis. This is the top view. So the midpoint will be the midpoint of O and O2. Then and it is inclined at an inclination of 45 degree with the HP. So it is a perpendicular to VP. Perpendicular to VP. Inclined to 45 degree with HP and passing through the midpoint of the axis. So in the front view, you can see the vertical trace. So transfer this point in the, to the front view. That means the intersection point, transfer the intersection point to the front view because it is given that it is cut at the midpoint of the axis. We know that if the, this point is the midpoint of the axis in the top view, this will be the midpoint of the axis in the front view. So at that point, we can cut the pyramid either in this direction or in this direction keeping this angle 45 degree right but if you are trying to cut the solid in 45 degree by removing the apex portion 
this solid may not be stable in that portion because position because if you are cutting like this apex portion has to be removed if you are cutting like this it may not be stable in that position right but if you are cutting like this by taking this angle as 45 degree apex can be removed as well as uh, we can remove the apex and we can see that uh, the solid will be stable in that position so through the midpoint take at an inclination of 45 degree obtain the in the section line obtain the vertical so draw a horizontal here at an inclination of 45 degree so we can see that eh, it intersect here two portion two points because it is a base edge CD and ED. So, 1 dash and 2 dash. Similarly, you can see that it intersect here. That uh, slant edges are passing through that point O2C and O2E. So, we can take it as 3 dash and 4 dash. Here, there will not, there is no, there is not any slant edges. This O02 is only an axis, right? So, there will not be an intersection because this is an axis. If it was a slant edge or lateral edge, then we can obtain that intersection. But since it is an axis, there will not be an intersection. So, there will not be any point. Now, we come here O2 B and O2 A. O2 B dash, O2 dash B dash and O2 dash A dash are there. So, we will get a two intersection points 5 dash and 6 dash there. Now, transfer all these points to the corresponding front view transfer 5 6 in O2 A and O2 B we will get here and here 192 transfer this point that belongs to O2 C and O2 O2 dash C dash and O2 dash C dash so this will be 3 and this will be 4 similarly 192 are on the base edge transfer this like this we will get 1 point here 1 and 2 here so that we obtained intersection like this remove this adjust clear clear so now we have to enter top view now we have to go for the true shape draw a line parallel to the vertical trace line or the section line Draw perpendiculars through 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Take the distance of 1 from XY line mark here so that it will be 1. Take the distance of 2 from XY line and mark here that will be 2 here. Similarly, we will get 3 somewhere here, 4 somewhere here. This is 5 and 6. Huh? And 5 somewhere here and 6 somewhere here. So, this is the corresponding pressure. I think all of you have understood this. This is very easy now. And now we can complete the dimensions also. This is the 30, I think. 30. And the height is 75. Okay. So we have completed 5.8. Okay, thank you.